The Heroes FC team take to the pitch for an exhibition match in Nusrat refugee camp. They've split into two teams for the game designed to showcase disabled football. Each of these players lost a leg in the last three wars Israel has fought in Gaza. All were under 18 at the time. But football's given them some hope, a chance to take part in a physical activity and give them confidence there's life beyond injury. In 2007 I was walking near my house when there was an explosion. I was 15. They had to amputate my leg. I used to play football at school, but to play football like this has been brilliant for me. We can play sports like everybody else. Heroes FC is part of the Dirbala Rehabilitation Society that helps people cope with injury. This is a new initiative for them. I came up with the idea after watching Disabled in television. I started to research and said to myself, we should do this. We have more disabled here than anywhere in the world due to the occupation and the siege. I talked to people and we realized we could do this. We started our first training session in March 2017. Despite all the challenges, the team has ambitions. Disabled football is still very new here, but these players are very confident. They want to be able to leave Gaza and maybe even one day play on the international stage. 14,700 Palestinians were injured in recent anti-Israeli protests. Many have been shot in the leg by Israeli snipers and can't get proper treatment because of shortages of painkillers and medical supplies. 33 patients have had to have their leg amputated to stop the disease from spreading. Doctors could normally treat injuries if it wasn't for the shortages. Heroes FC hope that one day amputees can find something that will give them hope beyond their injury. The players say, despite their life-changing injuries, a game of football is their new goal in life. Imran Khan, Al Jazeera, Nusrat Refugee Camp, Gaza.